It is shoulder day, shoulder press, overhead press day. We got the Titan utility bench. I'm um, gonna do this uh, from the back side, and then let me get the uh, triple cam going. So I gotta get some warming up in, folks. Um, training's really tight today. Now I just had a little fun where I renamed all of my slingshot bench daddy and clones uh plus my elbow sleeves hopefully you guys will check out that short to pick these up off the floor but uh had a lot of fun with that um yeah all right let's get this other camera rolling so did we lose a camera the hell we're down a camera for some reason they're all plugged in. Um, weird. I hate when that happens. So I might only have two, two cameras on, on this thing. Um, there we go. Let's hit it now. You know, when your USB ports suck, so does your video quality, it appears. Um, wow, that really just distorted. Try that again. Well, looks like we're going to be down a camera. Um, I don't know why. We got the main camera. And I'm going to do it with that one. Yeah, looks like we can move over. So yeah, USB camera is not working the way it's supposed to. Oh, there it is. There we go. All right. Looks like we're okay. Now I got to set them at the right angle. All right, folks. So uh, today's overhead press day. We're gonna do a little warming up. I'll probably try and do some shrugs or something. Um, so we have to get. This camera lined up better. I'm not even sure which. Yeah, that's that one. And then the one on the floor is not quite angled correctly. Uh, so let's angle that a little better. Now, because of this, we've got a lot of a lot of our views are very similar. Um, let's move this guy over here this from this angle I think and it's protected by the incline um, and then this camera is totally not lined up correctly if we're good now hopefully it's weird um, so that's that camera what is this one looking at okay that's this one and this one, all right. So we're good, I think. Now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do today, folks. Um, we can't continue to kill ourselves every time. I'm gonna use some fives here and just do some side raises. Just get the blood flowing. Loosen things up. We'll get to try and do a little stretching. Maybe I won't do uh, shrugs because that's tomorrow. But shrugs are another one that that'll help get the shoulders warmed up pretty good. I think, at least from what I've been doing. But tomorrow I do shrugs and I do the heavy side raises. Uh, we could use bands. We do have bands, but. And we could use some lighter, obviously we use some lighter weights to warm up with. Um, 
we'll use the barbell and we'll throw some tens on there and we're just gonna go with it folks uh, you will see me put a weight belt on eventually so if i don't look pregnant now <clears throat> i'm gonna look more pregnant in a moment all right <clears throat> we need to figure a couple things out one we got to figure out what height to put this on so last week you might have saw you know we just do things different here and there but okay that's way too low and then this guy is possibly the right height if i dump it forward um it should be good so i think we need to go up about two pegs and we really um we don't want to have to press much out of this thing right just a barely pressing off the peg and we do have two different kind of pegs you're not going to see me um, do behind the neck. I never see that because I just don't have flexibility anymore. I don't think that it's worth injuring myself for. All right, so let's just do try the barbell, and we're going to have to scoot the bench further. Close more forward. Yep, that's we're going to do that. Now when I come down. Um, it looks like I could come down one more or bring the safeties up one more. So let's <clears throat> try that. And if you have good form and come down consistently on both sides, probably not likely to hit anything. Now moving this forward might give me a little, little more of an advantage. So one thing that we found out yesterday all right I don't like that we're gonna bang off of that. Um, we had the bars in like down below you can see there's some bars. They are at a different height. Um, and we can go with different heights in comparison to this so it's kind of nice now i could um actually put those in and might find the right the exact right spot so i think we're good there now in the video i'll i might go heavy today i don't know we'll see how the body feels let me clean up a little bit i got uh i got some cap two and a half pound plates in i'm not gonna grab all of them but um so six pack of these came in 16 bucks folks not too bad i i needed them for my uh cable or not cable my accessory work that we do with the belt squat okay and that's why we got those uh, this angle is getting the light there we go so we're going with kind of a purple background even though it doesn't look like purple um, I will use the Cerberus elbow sleeves, you know, will they give me an advantage? Um, might, we might get five pounds more. We might get one extra rep. Beyond that, I don't think you get that much. Um, now if somebody like heavily disagrees, I will one day try and do the same workout I did yesterday with nothing but my, um, Probably my, my gloves. I have to have something. But uh, yours truly does suffer from tendonitis. As talked about in 100, maybe even 500 videos before this. And uh, so, you know. All right. One thing. Uh, hey, congrats to me. Congrats to all our viewers, subs. Um. I got good news. I mean, it's not the best news, but it's good news. We got uh, partially monetized, right? So what does that mean? 
Well, the best monetization, folks, is when you get a thousand subscribers and you have four thousand watch hours. The four thousand watch hours have to be within the last year, and then YouTube's got to accept you into its partner program. Um, it also has to like your channel, right? Like the way things you're doing, you can't be excessively vulgar. You know, occasionally drop some cuss words. That's that's a weight lifted thing, right? Um, you just I was about to say toxic manly masculinity, but um, you know, just the way us old school weightlifter types are. Now the new generation might be a little soft. There's no doubt the new generation is a bit soft. Um, their feelings get hurt, blah, 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 right? But uh, where am I going with this? So YouTube, you gotta be a little family friendlier, right? So we can't necessarily say the things we might have said back in the day. And we can't call people pussies and use, you know, C word, this and that, right? So, um, you know, the old days of lifting weights and getting your buddies pumped up, those were all good, right? But there were some negatives in there, you know? Um, no doubt, like, people do cat calling to the women and do other idiotic stuff that uh, women don't appreciate. Some do. Some want the attention, some don't. Actually, I know if my stalker's out there watching this, probably one of the one of the types that appreciates a little um, attention in that regard. So, nothing like a little muscle to get your uh, lining in shape. Now that sucks because it doesn't really. Not doing a whole lot. <sighs> All right, so moving along. Somewhere in our to put the elbow sleeve on. That's like the first thing to start bugging me. Um, if we could go super wide, you know, here's the problem. Jacked up shoulder, jacked up elbow. Come in too tight, the elbow is getting, feeling too much. Go out too far, the shoulder feels it. Now there's obviously, uh, places in there that are optimum for power over your head. If I personally have found them, is another story. And we are still way too close to this freaking thing. So some of you, actually nobody questioned, um, why, why is this guy lifting off of the bar instead of the pegs, right? So last week we had the Safety bars down here, crossed here. I just lifted right off there, right? We did uh, two, 225 off there. No, sorry, we did 230 off of there. To be exact, I think we had collars on, so it was more like, might have been 230.5. Uh, but, so we did that, and it was good. This is a good workout, right? Saves a little bit of energy. You might get, you might be able to finish an extra rep. Is that, you know, would that be considered cheating to some people? Maybe. If you were doing standing, you start in basically that position. So, without having somebody hand you the weight, then ideally, sitting, and I've never seen anybody do this, but if you're sitting and you had somebody help lift the weight off the bar, uh, that would get you in a perfect position. Kind of like when I have the pins up here and I'm standing, I lift up, carry out, but the amount of stress the body feels doing it standing, folks, is considerable compared to what one feels when they are sitting. Um, now, we, you know, one could argue, actually plenty of people could argue uh, that I am using chest, upper chest doing it this way. Um, we do have, you know, obviously there's a slight bend in the, in the uh, bench. It's a utility bench though. This is the 
these are the benches that are meant for doing utility press. Um, you may go to a gym and find that it's a little more upright and you cannot put up the same amount of weight. Um, case in point, I think I did, I did uh, hammer strength military and I was really disappointed with how hard it was to get uh, rep out with 185. So finding a good happy medium, I think is the way to go. But realize if you were to compete against other people that you might find that you're not lifting as much as you think you are because of the angle of the bench. Um, case in point, another case in point, folks. Hopefully you guys get some education. This, you know, this channel, I'm an older guy. I have gone through a of years of working out, did some things right, did some things wrong, kind of settled in my ways. What, if my age works, I'm not into, you know, hey, let me do chest twice a week, or let me do flat bench twice a week. I do it once. I'll throw an incline on a different day. I'll throw in military. And then probably another day, I do triceps. Three days of rest, and we start that part of the cycle over again. Is that too much? Maybe. Um, with me going on a pretty long travel here, we're going to have to change up our plans and figure out a, a new way to do things, unfortunately, um, which totally blows. I'm uh, kind of enjoying, kind of enjoyed the, the way I have things set up. And, you know, to have to change kind of sucks, I'm honest with you. So, yep. But, you know, most of the stuff I can do here, I'll be able to do in the future. I'm learning some stuff. You know, I have the belt squat attachment. I'm like, what if I do this at the uh, commercial gym? Grab a bench, grab my straight bar, and... You know what I've been doing there. We won't miss a beat. You know, maybe our forearms will get bigger. Because um, you got to work both parts of the forearm. And with me having problems to hammer curl with my right arm, we're not quite getting that part of the forearm. Um, and the biceps are probably going to start shrinking here soon. Now, one thing advantageous about this bench for somebody my size, um, my upper back, part of my upper back is able to hang over this thing, which probably allows a little more, uh, I hate to you know use the word cheat, but probably allowing me to cheat a little. Um, I think it was Bradley Martin or Mike O'Hearn, they were using some bench that had quite an angle to it, doing 225 presses. And with some, he, there was one big dude and then one scrawny guy. In my opinion, he was scrawny, but that guy should not have even been able to do 225. I don't think in a proper seated strength that he'd be able to do more than one rep, if he could do one at all. So the fact this guy did like four or five, whatever he did, I'm like, are you kidding me? Uh, oh, so folks, if you're worried about the safety of these things, get yourself clamps like this, right? That thing doesn't go nowhere, all right? Um, I use that on the other pins that I have. And sometimes, you know, nice thing about a gym like this, you can make this more like your your hammer strength or life fitness or uh, Nautilus, uh, where you know you could have multiple pegs. You could have a peg in the front to drop to. So there are um, some 
advantageous things here for that. Okay. So, where am I going, folks? I just took all the weight off. We done? No, we're not done. I think, folks. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing today. We, you know, one of the things you always want to have going in the workout is a plan. I know at the end, we, we got 155 for 21 reps. The next week, we tried 160 for 20 because that's what was going to carry me over to do 165 the following week. Well, guess what? I did not get my 160. So, what does that mean, folks? That means yours truly wasn't a happy camper about that. But the other thing that about that is I um, need to drop the weight down so that we need to drop the weight down so that we can get our 20 reps. And we'll try, we're going to try 157. Maybe we'll go exactly in between, right? If you got 19 and then you got 21, maybe going right between them is the exact number I need. Now, last week I also did that 230 for three. I thought, why not show off? Why not more ego lifting? Why not fucking 235 and try and get two? Right? You fuckers love that. You want to see this old guy break, right? So, maybe that's what we're going to give you this week. All right. Feeling a little not so great in my elbow. Actually, you know, hearing more popping, cracking. I know that at some point when I retire from one of my jobs, I'm going to try and get some surgery on my shoulder, potentially. If I can get something, you know, just like a barely a, maybe not what happened at a, a sec def where he got all fucked up, but, uh, you know, minor, minor surgery that uh, would cause me um, to alleviate the pain in my elbow. Um, the popping, if there was something they could do in and out in a day and be back to working out in two weeks, then hey, it'd be good for you. Um, if my shoulder, they could do the same, that would be great, right? If we could get rid of that shoulder pain and all of a sudden like, whoa, I think you'd start to see more gains from me because we're holding back a little bit. <laughs> Now, the funny thing is, that was obviously just a, a little warm-up there. Um, <laughs> at the moment, I don't know how in the hell my body gets warm enough, loose enough that it could do 20 reps of that weight. I think our, our max would be 6 seated at 135. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, folks. That's pretty damn good. Standing, though. Um, it's been a long time since I hit 20 standing. So when I was doing 20 standing, I was obviously stronger. Uh, quite a bit stronger, right? Because I can't... I think, I think I got 19. 17, 18, 19, somewhere there. Fuck, anything over 12 standing is pretty good. No matter what your age is. Now, of course, if you weigh, let's insult me, but if you weigh what I weigh, um, you should, and you're really into weightlifting, you should probably be able to do, just like that one thing said, at least 75% of your body weight 
lift that over your head, which we can do. But if you're really competitive, you could probably do eight reps. Um, I can do, I can barely get six reps of 185 these days. Um, without the back support and all the other stuff, the, the stress, the trauma of holding that weight up, that takes quite a toll compared to, hey, let me just sit here. Oh yeah, I'm just using, you know, all my power and I have this bench to, Leverage probably. We're probably using some leverage, right? So, all right, next, after this set, and then we're gonna probably set up the YouTube short. Um, you know, for a while there, I was trying to do reps of 185, and I got up to 13 or 14. Which just ridiculous. Um, I don't. I think it might be better to just go with a little heavier weight, do less. But who knows? All right, so one fifty-five. We'll just crank out six to eight of these. Move on. <laughs> So when I do those, I really feel it right here on my shoulder, all right? Um, if you were cheating, you would feel it in your chest. Now, one good thing I think is, well, maybe not a good thing. If you had aggravated strain of some kind in your chest, then you're probably... If it's the upper portion of your chest, you're probably still going to be able to do these, okay? So, a 175 warm-up. And we will, uh, what are we going to do this week? Probably need to pick some numbers. something different yeah since indeed I believe we're getting stronger let's uh let's call this 177 and really 177.5 because the collars but one pound plate I say that so every cap plate I've ever lifted folks or ever ever measured has been either on the money or it has been up to 5% over, okay? That is uh, kind of an interesting thing because if you are lifting 200 pounds, you think you're lifting 200 pounds, you're actually, or the bar plus 200 pounds, you're actually lifting 210, right? Hey, I might make a, a, a video about that. Um, so I weighed all the two and a halfs. They were all pretty much, uh, no, most of them were four out of six were between one and one and two ounces over, right? So if a two and a half pound plate weighs is supposed to weigh um, 40 ounces and you are one to two ounces over that, you're two and a half to five ounces heavier, okay? Let me figure out what we need protein bars today. Yeah. All right, folks, so interesting fact here, the Weight Slayer Gym, we have weighed all of our cap plates, Olympic plates, 
And I got to tell you, uh, some of them are spot on. Some are 1% higher and some are 2%. So the reality is none of them are less. And what I've kind of wondered is, you know, hey, when I'm lifting weights, I might actually be putting up 1% to 2% more, right? So what does that mean? Well, if I'm lifting 300 pounds of weights on top of my 45-pound bar, I'm adding, you know, at least 3 to 6 more pounds. So uh, keep that in mind, you know, if you're not able to weigh your weights, you may actually be uh, lifting more weight than you think you are. All right, so just a little stupid YouTube video. Um, okay. What did I say we got on here? We have at least 177, okay? And I probably should go from the other side. I need to buy another one of these camera stands. This thing is the pretty reliable, I will say. All right, let me get a sip. And then we'll do our next warm up set. So, obviously, folks, there was a time this was not a warm up set for me, right? Um, but now, yeah. All right, so we have uh, 177, so 45, 210s. A uh, one pound microweight, and actually the collars are about 0.5. Now, if you've seen my video, all the cap weights I have are um, pretty much one to two percent higher than their stated weight. So, potentially, we're lifting more than we think we are. Um, my BTX plates, I believe, are a lot more accurate. But hey, all right, here we go. <clears throat> So that was a good warm up. We could have did a few more. Um, we don't want to burn ourselves out on a, a lighter weight. I'm gonna pause this. So I, don't use so I use this other camera, the short camera for making uh, YouTube, whatchamacallit, YouTube shorts. I use the portrait camera. <laughs> All right. So. This next set will be a real, a real uh, set. Then we're going to go to 225, right? And we will switch to Cerberus because when we're serious, we're we're serious, folks. I might need to tighten my weight belt up too. It feels a little loose. I feel like I have. Uh, Gut support. <laughs> Gut lower back support. Uh, I probably need my Mark Bell lowers too. Problem is, I get, I get so hot and sweaty, but man, do they, they keep you nice and secure. Matter of fact, let's do that. We're going to go ridiculously heavy here in a moment. And this camera keeps freaking moving for some reason. The cable's a little too tight. Um, so one of the channels, folks, will have, we will have the uh, triple view, or one of the, yeah, one of the channels will have the triple view. That one might be the best, at least from the back or not. Actually, it's kind of three views of the exact same thing. Um, but whatever. It's better, uh, I think, on the decline or incline because I can get the three cameras in three different orientations from where they are right now. Not so great. Now, if I move the laptop over, which I probably should have, this is a wall plug over here. I could have, uh, I gotta figure out a way to rotate the camera so that I put it on a wall and maybe I can do this, rotate the view 90 degrees so that we can do a mount it that way and just change the angle off the wall. But 
you know, because of the orientation, you only have the ability to go up and up and down, and that aspect sucks. So, um, I think when I when I come back, we're gonna do health. Actually, we're we're gonna need to buy more webcams, and then I will mount them to the walls, and then we will. Um, We'll just move the laptop around probably or use I have multiple laptops. We'll use one laptop for you know the different views we'll do. But you know, technology is a wonderful thing. Wonderful thing when you have it. If you have to invest money into buying all this crap, um, and I have that tech channel, tech channels, so there's no, there's really no reason for me not to use what I have. Now I have this shitty leather leather belt that I don't know why I didn't send it back. Um, it sucks, but we might, this one is probably legal for me to use in actual bench press competition. Um, so, well, I'll use this one, I guess. I don't think I got that on very tight, but, all right, uh, whew. gotta put our gloves back on. So, we have a lot of extra support, folks, for the next set. Um, and you young fuckers just don't seem to understand, but you'll you'll understand when you get older and you're, if you haven't quit working out, turn into a big fat pig, um, you will understand that the gear will help you continue on and it'll still keep you strong obviously if you look at my uh, videos where i do the take the pump cover off <laughs> just kidding pump check pump check videos that i'm still pretty damn strong and i still got a lot of muscle in me so all right let's double check our weights always a smart idea so we have a 45 three tens and a one pound microwave plus the, um, the collars are four ounces a piece. So they're on the outside. So we're doing 197.5 if we wanted to be um, exact mundo. But now, as I stated before, cap plates are highly inaccurate. Um, up to two ounce difference and out of a uh, lot of six two were one percent over two were two percent and one one was just slightly over um over the two and a half pounds so that's not bad um you know but if you had all two percenters and there's there's no negative two percent plates that i have except for except for one um, set. 
you know, all those uh, plates being, if they were all 2% higher, we've got almost uh, another, you know, 3.2 pounds on here, basically, or somewhere in there. All right, folks, we're going to, we're taking this one serious. We want to get some good reps out of it. Obviously, a lot easier to do, but so 12 pounds less overhead press. I don't know what bench press that uh, we would have a four or five rep difference. I might, I'd have to check like a bench calculator to see if that that seems realistic. All right, so that was our heavy. Our, excuse me, our heavy rep set. Our next set is, is uh, two thirty-five. Kind of want to just say, fuck it, put two forty on there, but that's a little, a little bit of a jump. All right, I'm gonna take these off for. Moment. So, don't let uh, people give you shit if you know you're taking a long time between sets. If you've got a training partner that's rush, 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 um, there's a good chance that that motherfucker's not making good gains. If you are, there's different approaches, right? One could say, hey, I'm gonna get as much volume in as I can in an hour. Or the other might say, I'm gonna get a good warm up in, then I'm gonna lift heavy, rest, recover, and then go at it again. That is, uh, that's a little more old school, I think. Now, you gotta, if you really wanna track your sets, how you're doing, not doing your next set until you feel like your body is recuperated is gonna be a more accurate indicator. And if I said, oh, well, I just did that set, let me go ahead and bang out. I'm gonna bang this out, right? Okay. So I hate to use the collars because that's that's another half half pound. <laughs> half pound can make a difference, right? <laughs> um, that's the cool thing about the microwaves. I could, you know, if I don't, if I hit like I hit bench press three fifty five the other day. And it honestly it felt easy. I had nobody to lift off the weight. I had nobody to allow me to get into position and then lift off the weight. I was about as flat on the bench. You know, you're talking old school, old school, right? Nobody's gonna complain about my, hey, your butt was off the bench. Hey, you're, you're, you arch so much that it's, you barely move the bar, right? I don't bench off of my gut, which, you know, if I could, man, that would be maybe advantageous. Plus, you know, if I'm able to do that and not have to move the bar as far, right? But I think that puts a lot of stress on the shoulder. Um, if I had shorter arms, yeah, maybe I could do that. I don't know. You know, 
that's an interesting factor. There, there should be a way to, you know, verify that people are stronger than one another versus the bench press, right? Because the reality is the form you use that you've trained for um, can make somebody with a lot less muscle appear stronger than somebody that's got a lot of muscle but no flexibility, right? Because, you know, using something like, uh, a, just lifting the last six inches, um, you know, there are people that, that could lift probably a lot more, but they just can't get the weight down to their chest and, and get off their chest because their triceps are strong and their chest is weak. But now the people that have that great technique and form, and I only call it great technique and form because it's, it's legal. <laughs> it wasn't legal. Um, I'd be like, well, and personally I hate it. It doesn't even up the playing field for somebody like me. Like I can never super arch my back, but I would like to get a decent little arch in and I would use my other weight belt if it was legal. Maybe even, you know, if I could stick something back there to uh, turn in the decline. Um, because the reality is, uh, if you do decline bench consistently and flat, you'll find that you probably, at least as somebody of my strength, can do 10 to 15 pounds more on the decline. Um, and doing a variation of the decline on the flat, you know, is kind of that, pretty much that difference. Now, is that worth it to me, like to say, well, I did 355, easy with my back completely flat. Is it worth me taking a chance of jacking up my back just to be able to say, yeah, folks, I, um, I was able to do this because, uh, I can arch my back and oh, by the way, my back hurts now because of it. Oops. I'm just around with the bench, which is a bad idea, but then look squared up. Ah, so we got 235 on here. It's definitely a decent amount of weight. We'd like to get two reps. We're starting in the up position, which compared to last week is a little more difficult, but um, we may, um, it's, you know, rolling off the bar and getting it up was tough, but this obviously expends a lot of energy too because we add that off the rack, lowering it, and then pressing. Um, you might find if you could do three off of the bar like I did last week of 230 that you can only do two with the rack. Uh, if you have a spotter, somebody to lift this off, you know, you might also find that you can get, uh, finish that third rep, or at least get close to doing it. All right, so, folks, it's time for another ego lift. And I have, I have no doubt that we do a lot of ego lifting um, on this channel, and so do my, my brothers that I, uh, Subscribe to. You know, to say people like, like they can't lift the weight now, but those people that that have competed, they obviously got some egos, right? Those people have competed, done steroids, like uh, Coach Greg. He has, uh, there's no doubt he had an ego, right? I mean, all the weights he threw up and the fact he, he had to use steroids to get there um, and he's on TRT I mean he was pretty strong but 
how strong really would he have been without that stuff? I don't know. <sighs> we got two sets left, folks. Then I'm going to go to Planet Fitness. And I hope the people there won't annoy me like they normally do. All right. Tighten up gloves. We got the Cerberus elbow sleeves. Maybe good for one rep on the lighter weight. I don't think it's that big deal here, but I could be wrong. We're not going to go any wider. This is a lot of fucking weight, folks. Okay, two reps. That's good. I don't think the form was what I really wanted. Um, depth coming down, maybe not as deep. But two reps is two reps. So there will not be a 240 next week, all right? There won't be a 230. There won't be a, or there won't be a 235 next week. There won't be a 230. I don't think that we're going to go over 215 for a while after this. Uh, just not, I'm not sure we're getting any training benefit out of it except for that was an ego lift, right? And I wanted to have an idea what kind of power I had in me. And I was hoping deep down inside that it would feel easy and maybe I'd do a third, but. It did not feel easy. Two was pretty tough. And that was all we had, folks. Um, now that I'm warmed up, I actually kind of wouldn't mind doing another shot at 197, but see if we can get 10. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I'll grab these. If I knew these weights weren't going to bang all over the place, I would probably not do it. Um, oh shit, I didn't do that like Schwarzenegger. Hang on. There we go. Whew. That's heavy weight. Heavy weight, folks, that I just put on there. Uh, okay. We need our one-pounders. Yeah, if I knew these weren't going to slide around, I would go out go without the collar. Uh, somebody, if you're watching this, remind me. Oh, fuck. I don't think I got this on the other camera because it's been paused. Fuck me. God damn it. Thank God I did multiple cameras. So, of course, on the good camera, we missed the two reps of 235. So it sucks. Um, oh well. It is what it is, right? Uh, so the cool thing is, I mean, it's kind of stupid, but if you go to Planet Fitness and use, or the Golds, use the hammer strength machine, what I just did there, add about 25 pounds onto that because there's a counter counterweight in there. And you would have, uh, you would have, whatchamacallit, uh, what would that look like? Another 10 and a two and a half on each side. So we would have had two 45s, a 10, a five, and a two and a half. That would have looked pretty awesome on here. Basically two, wait, no, it needs to weigh 260. Yeah, whatever 260 comes out to. And so that would just look awesome. Um, and you might get an extra rep or two out of this, the uh, Smith machine. And obviously, depending on how the bench is angled, maybe more, maybe less, uh, if you were completely upright. So the Smith machine goes in at an angle, so you don't want to, you don't want to have your bench, you know, completely upright because then you're benching in my opinion, in a bad direction. So maybe the bench is a little more angled than it would be if you were doing free weight barbell. 
But, uh, yeah. <sighs> kind of feel like, you know, I need to go down there and show off a little bit. <clears throat> but doing, you know, two reps is not... Um, whatever I can do there on that machine for five to eight on my my final heavy set is good. And then, then I always go to like a, a 135 equivalent rep out and just, you know, crank out reps. And by then I'm pretty, pretty fucking worn out. Whew. So, yeah, I just, I don't like the way the 45 caps sit on these bars. They don't want to sit like perfectly 90. Um, at least the other one doesn't. This one doesn't look like it is either. So, those red cheap plastic clamps um, that I have that you guys see in some of the videos, that will make these things real tight. They're definitely better collars, but uh, they're a pain in the ass to get on and off. So, Yeah, I think I think I'm done buying cap plates at this point, folks. Um, we we talked about you know, hey, I should get. Um, what was I gonna do? I was gonna get you know four. I wanted to have four sets of cap 45s. I have two, and that way when I do my uh, my flat bench, it looked more like. Uh, like Tall Man Jude, I think he's got three. And I'm not sure what brand he has. They kind of look similar to this, but three sets of 45s. Um, and I don't think he has a fourth one, but uh, if I were to um, do that, you know, it looks, it looks good. It looks a little more professional, right? I mean, we're kind of getting there. This backdrop, you know, we'll call this set number one. Eventually, I'm going to get some texture along the bottom. I don't, right now, I don't feel like spending $109 to do it, but um, I also need to put a, probably put a baseboard in first, then put the texture in, a uh, wallpaper-like thing. Four by eight, I think it's like 109 bucks. It's kind of got like a steel... Uh, Diamond, diamond pattern, right? Is that what it's called? Whatever it's called. For grading or, uh, you know, walking on. So I don't think it's, it's not real metal. But yeah, two of those will just about fill this wall. But I need a third one. So I need to cover this and then the portion over there. Um, and then we'd have to do the cutouts, which is going to be a pain in the ass, for the electrical outlets. I didn't even think about that. That's a pain. Then the electrical outlets, I've got to buy cooler looking electrical outlets, right? Maybe gray or black. White looks stupid on that. There's steel ones too, but um, I don't, I've seen them for light switches. I don't know about the outlets. Oh, so we would, we would get that. Then the wall itself, I need to take these mirrors off of this thing and uh, take this the stickers off the back and apply more more of these mirrors um, even though they kind of suck but if they were all lying on a flat wall they might look a little less distorted and then have that all the way across so that that would really make this look a lot more professional doing the flooring would be good you know um, you know people check out a video and they're like wow this guy put a lot of time into it they might be a lot more likely to subscribe than if I'm sitting in my garage, you know. No offense to some of my buddies, but um, my goal is, is bigger than just the home gym thing. My gym, my goal is to have a real freaking working gym. And uh, I know... Uh, Great strong. You're probably not going to listen to this part of this, but if um, if the wife and I and the cats decide we're going to move down to Georgia, 
Uh, and you are, you said, I think you said you're north of Atlanta. That's what would be the plan to be north of Atlanta. You would be always welcome to come to the channel and uh, work out, you know. And uh, if your shit gets more successful and I'm closer, um, you know, both of us get way more successful. Like, like we're made men on here, right? And then, uh, hell, maybe we could open up some kind of gym together, buy a piece of property do that that would be freaking killer assuming we you know trust each other and all that good stuff there's a lot more to, more to reality than just what we uh, know of each other so all right but yeah if i move i my goal would be enough property that i could build a workshop on it i'm going to tell the missus that i ain't living anywhere unless I can have that workshop and then I want fifty thousand to hundred thousand dollars to build my gym and that's what I'm gonna do so I am uh, on my monetized channel I do save a certain percentage of it slow going and I, re I realize with Biden inflation that probably gonna be closer to a hundred thousand to have a decent gym but you know, what's a perfect gym for, you know, home use, uh, workshop that I could also do other YouTube videos and make countless amount of money on. I probably want to have animals and shit too. Uh, but the whole thing would be, you know, you'd want to have a bathroom in there. How many times in the middle of a set, you know, I'm like, oh shit, I got to take a piss or do something worse than that. Um, or wash your face off, wash your hands. So you want to have at least a toilet. You might as well just have a fucking shower in there. Um, and then if I opened it up to personal training, you know, then you definitely want to have a shower. You want to have a lock, you know, some lockers. Um, or just have them bring their, hey, bring your gym bag out on the floor with you. Because it's not going to be more than a couple people in here at one time. <sighs> All right. But could have lockers. Could have a men's and women's restroom. Um, I, I've been, you know, eyeing like uh, a life fitness circuit. That would be so cool to get, you know, 10 to, I don't even know how many make up a circuit. Let's say it's at least 15 to 20. Have those, have that whole thing. Some of the machines I wouldn't want, but good for, you know, personal training purposes. Um, have the free weights, the benches, obviously have the cardio equipment, probably need two of each in case one breaks or, or whatever, um, or you have to train two people at once. Husband and wife pair, or, you know, two, two chicks, two dudes. All right, folks. Um, we've got 157 on here. The goal is 20 reps and I don't know, how we're feeling today, we feel a little weaker, but we're gonna try and bang this out. Here we go. <laughs> after that. I'm going to rewind it. Oh, pause the portrait. So I'm going to watch this in a second. Let me get my gloves off. I'll shut the other camera off as well. So I can't believe we missed the 225 on the portrait, which sucked because that was, that's the ego lift video there. Oh, and by the way, 
We ran out of storage on the other freaking camera. Yeah. Man, that sucks. I just can't win to it all down here in the Weight Slayer gym. Gosh. One of these days, folks. All right, I'm taking the shoes off. So. How much video did we get? Six, 18 minutes before we ran out of room. And guess what? I don't think I got. I don't, uh, we didn't get 225 on this portrait or the other one. Ah, damn. Oh well, it's life. Well, we got, yeah, we didn't get the 225 on the overhead, and we did obviously get it on the triple. We got it on there, but I don't want to get in trouble with over um, reusing our stuff too much. Because that's kind of a no. We'll do a pump check here. Let me get these weights off. You know, most of you ain't watching this video. So this is just extra watch hours, but uh, you get to see the whole the whole thing, folks. Um, so I am. I was talking about being monetized. I am the first level, which is. Not the good level. Let's talk about the second level. The second level is you have ads on your stuff. You know, on a thousand viewed short, you make 10 cents, which is nothing. But if you do enough shorts, let's say you get 10 to 20,000 a day, at least you're making at least a dollar or two dollars. So that's pretty good. I'll be back in a second. All right, uh, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So level level two is full monetization, super chats, um, store, blah, blah, blah. You get everything. That is, you know, where this channel is gonna be in a couple months, hopefully. Now, the other is the um, level one, basically we'll call it. Or maybe it's level two. I don't know. Whichever way you want to look at it. That, folks, is the ultimate because you get, um, or excuse me, level one is the one where you just get super chats, a store. It's very hard to make any money. And so we'll, we'll get to the other one here soon. Um, within the next six months. Maybe sooner. Be nice to um, you know get there get there quicker but oh well what are you gonna do all right guys you happen here we go okay
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, woo, that shit, now, it did look like I was cheating a bit, but whatever, who cares, who cares folks, once a cheater, always a cheater, right, okay, so pump check, Shirt is going to remain on until we drop 20 pounds. Um, but, yeah, look at that shit. Now I'm going to go to Planet Fitness. People are going to be like, fuck, this guy is way too fucking powerful for this shithole known as Planet Fitness. Right? All right. So, left side, due to the lighting, sucks. But the right is phew, it's as good as it's going to get. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe.